Hi guys, my name is Angelica Moreira and I'm a graduate student researcher at the Compilers Laboratory. And in today's class, you're going to learn some basic concepts of profile guided optimization. So let's dive into it, shall we? Profile guided optimization is also known by its acronym PGO. And PGO is a compiler optimization technique that collects the program's behavior in order to use this collected information as feedback for the compiler. Thus, the compiler can make better choices about how to optimize. The idea behind PGO is to run an application while profiling it to collect a sample of the behavior of that application. Then, come back and recompile it with the profiler as a feedback so the compiler can make better choices about how to optimize the program. Guys, keep in mind that PGO is also known by other names like FDO, Feedback Driven Optimization, PBO, Profile Based Optimization, and many others. But the names I'm sharing with you are the most common names. So guys, before I give you examples of optimization techniques that could take advantage of profile information, I want to remind of the compilation pipeline. So uh, the compilation process of a typical compiler works as follows. We start with the source code of the program and then the parser, also called as the compiler's front end, parses the input source code and eventually transforms it into an intermediate representation. And this intermediate representation is understood by the other phases of the compiler. And then the compiler optimizes this code and outputs object files in binary form. And finally, the linker links these object files together with uh, external libraries and output an executable binary. Um, now that you know the compilation pipeline, uh, let's see the steps of the compilation pipeline we could inject profile. Well, we could inject profile in the parser step, in the code generation, in the linker, and also after we have the executable binary. But in this case, we would not use the compiler, but we would use a binary optimizer tool um, together with the profile. And then we would guide a bunch of optimizations. And then we would have an optimized uh, executable binary. But at this point, you must be wondering what are those techniques that takes advantage of profile information to optimize the code. Well, uh, the most known is basic block placement, also known as basic block layout, uh, where the code generator can lay out the basic blocks, prioritizing the ones more frequently executed. Um, this improves instruction cache behavior and also diminishes the overhead from branches. Uh, we also have the inlining, also known as function inlining, where the inliner can prioritize functions which are called more often. Uh, we have the identification of hot code, also known as hot and code code partitioning, uh, where the compiler can separate the address space between the hot code, uh, the parcel of code which runs more often, and the code code. Uh, this can reduce the size of the working set and reduce the page faults. Uh, we also have the spill placement technique, uh, where the register locator can place spills in sporadically executed code, and many more. These and other optimizations can provide significant performance benefits like uh, increase of speed up and decrease of memory footprint. But what is in the profile? Well, it could have a lot of things, and the one that most people start to collect is information about the control flow. Uh, this information in general is the execution counts. However, it could also be things like branch mispredictions, branch misses, and many more. One can also collect profile information associated to different program structures. 
Uh, for example, we can collect execution counts for a specific basic block uh, or only uh, an edge from and to that this block. Uh, and to do this, we could take advantage of the control flow graph edges. We could also collect information about an entire function and uh, its execution count, and also take advantage of the call graph and collect information about uh, call graph edges and the dependencies between functions. But keep in mind that the information collected will depend only on what is the end goal of the optimization being performed. There are basically two main types of profile information. The most used is dynamic profiling, where we collect profile information during the program's execution. Techniques in this category include instrumentation, where we inject additional code into the program to keep tracking of information to trace the program's behavior, and sampling usually performed with tools uh, such as the Linux kernel perf, which collects information from hardware counters by sampling a subset of program's instructions. And uh, the other type is the static profiling, which collects information about the programs during uh, the compilation pipeline in an attempt to predict its runtime behavior based on its structural features. In this category, there are also two main techniques. The heuristic-based ones, which uses rules to perform uh, predictions, simple rules, and the machine learning-based uh, ones, which use more advanced search techniques based on learning from previously acquired knowledge. However, there is always a catch, right? And in this case, it's no different. PGO is based on the assumption that you can predict the behavior of a program. While in some cases that might be true, it's not true for every program. Therefore, there are instances where it may be great performance instead. For example, if the program's behavior is very input sensitive, optimizing for one set of inputs may make the application slower when running for another set of inputs. Thus, when using PGO, one must be very careful to think about training the optimizations by collecting profiles that are representative of all the different execution paths that your program typically takes. Another cat, although usually less significant, is that depending on how you apply PGO, it may involve additional steps in one's building process. Uh, and these additional steps might affect deployment cycles significantly and sometimes may add overhead. Uh, thank you guys for sticking with me. I hope you have enjoyed this class and uh, any doubts you can send me an email and uh, I hope you will watch the second part of this class. It will be uh, PGO in our VM. See you there. Bye-bye.